On the left hand side you can see we are currently editing our first page. Layouts can be made up of multiple pages. To see the overview of our pages you can click this button here. We can then add, duplicate and delete our pages. We would add pages if we had different content we wanted to separate. For instance, if we were designing digital menu boards, on our first page we could have our normal menus and then we can add a page for our special offers. We could then set these to play on a continuous loop or we could schedule them to show using conditional play. To add a new page, click this button here. As you can see, our newest page goes to the front of the queue, which means this page will show first. To reorder these, simply drag and drop. If we wanted these pages to play on a continuous loop, we will have to change the timeout. So we have to first change the time, which is how long the page will show for, and then we can select the action. Here, we can either select show next page, or we can select show page and set our target. We'll have to add these to both pages for it to work. If we wanted to schedule a page to show, we can add conditional play. To do this, we select a page, we've selected page 2, and then we add some conditional play. So we can schedule this page to show dependent on the time, days of the week, specific dates, and even down to the weather. If we add conditional play, we have to make sure our time, dates, and location are set and correct on our device. For instance, if our page had a special offer for some ice cream, we can schedule this page to show dependent on the weather. To add this, we click weather, and then we insert our temperatures. So this page will only show when the temperature from our location on our device is between 20 degrees and 40 degrees Celsius. If the temperature is between these two, then our pages will both show on a continuous loop. They will both play for 15 seconds and move on to the next one. If the temperature is outside either one of these temperatures, then we will only see our first page. Once we're done, we can see here our conditional play has been added. If no conditional play has been set, like our first page, it will show continuously. It will only move to page 2 after 15 seconds if this condition has been met. Otherwise, our first page will just play continuously. The other settings we can edit are at the top here. First of all we have to select the page and then the settings we want to edit. So here we can change its name and apply a timeout which we've already done. You can then add conditional play if you want to schedule your page to show. You will leave this blank if you want it to show continuously. Next we can add a background which can be an image from our media library or a colour using our colour selector. Next we can add an animation. This is how the page will enter and leave the layout. If we don't want an animation we click none. We can also add interactions and tags. Some pages may need the same settings. You can edit settings on multiple pages by selecting all. You then go to the setting you wish to edit and this will be saved on all the pages that have been selected. So for instance if we change the timeout to 20 seconds and simply do it to show next page. As you can see it's now changed on both pages. To view or edit a page you can click the eye icon here. This will then take you to the builder for that page. As you can see here, we are editing our second page. You can then choose between the pages by using the bar here. 
As you can see, on our second page, we haven't applied a background. We can do this by going to the background settings or setting the background from our overview of pages. So if we click this button here, select second page and background, and if we give it a black background. Once we close, you will see our second page now has a black background. As you can see at the top, we can also add pages from here. We can also duplicate and delete our current page. To go back to the builder for the second page, we can select that from here. We can then start to build our second page.